with the Marvel Cinematic Universe crumbling down before our eyes and stuff, we, uh, you know, it's just no doubt that they can't stay out of headlines at this point no more, especially we're closing into the Marvels, and which could be one of the biggest nightmares that ever existed. Yep. That Marvel, Marvel ever had. Marvel is looking in some deep trouble, and it is unsure if they're even going to try and get themselves out of it before they dig too deep. They're trying. They, they, they're talking about they're trying to and stuff, but I think it's a little too late for that now. Exactly. I I think it's just like you're already two feet in the hole here. That's what I'm saying. It, it, the fact is that it depends on how well the Marvels do and stuff. Will it have that Captain Marvel? Uh, hmm? Which uh, we've talked about about it not about it being predicted not to do too hot. Yeah. And like I said, I already gave the suggestion how this film could succeed. If these so-called Captain Marvel fans, Miss Marvel fans, will actually go out and not be broke for once in their life and actually go out and buy this and go pay for the tickets and go see this movie and stuff, yeah, and we, then we can actually keep our mouth shut about this and stuff. But since that they, they they won't do that and stuff, you can always you can already tell they have not been doing that. Yep. Um, it's not going to happen and stuff. This movie is dead. Dead before no. it even comes out. And then the fact is, I mean, and then the fact is, here's another thing. Marvel has no competition right now. Dune 2 backed out. Unfortunately. Yeah. The only competition I probably see them having is that, uh, that, uh, hum New Hunger Games prequel. Which might be, maybe. which, hmm? maybe, maybe it's a but which might be killed by another insufferable Disney uh, star. Yeah, look at this. This is the sad part about this. Both of these movies are led by two insufferable Disney stars. Oh, jeez. Yeah, have you been hearing the uh, Rachel Zegner been going around? Yep. Yep. She's the star of that, then you got Brie Larson, who actually has been, uh, I don't, I wouldn't even say, I don't even think I can say that no more, so, cause she's, she's actually been very silent lately. More than likely because she was told to. I don't know, so maybe, it, well, I, we, we can't, I mean, before this movie came out, so she has not said anything stupid on the Fast X thing. So like I think she she's just like I think she is in full regret what she, what she said. Yep. So like I, I don't even think we could call her insufferable, but I guess we could call her the former insufferable Disney star. She's the Disney star who made a mistake. Yeah, Disney star made a mistake and stuff because like yeah, she's been very silent and stuff, and yeah, but like. Yeah, it could be that some of it has to do with because the actor strike is still going on because the dumbass nanny does not know what the fuck she's doing anymore. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get into that another time. Yeah, whatever. Right now it's worth under Monday. Yep. Did Carbine actually finally get done? Probably not yet. No course. Um. I was gonna say. Oh yeah. So we got new articles today, so because Marvel, uh, Marvel can't uh, keep themselves out of headlines and stuff. They're never bored again. Is scrapped. Everybody is unhappy with the quality. That's for the first time I ever heard something like this. That is actually crazy. I cannot believe it. I'm su I'm surprised. Call me surprised. Yep, he is not happy with the footage <laughs> of shot episodes. He should have said that about Secret Invasion. For real. Where, where was this energy during Secret Invasion, Kevin? 
Because that should have been stopped right there, right there and stuff. After them killing Maria Hill, and we found out it was because to get people into the show. I still can't believe Maria Hill had to die for that. I can't believe it either. It is literally just... Okay, but why? You, you need to give us a valid reason why her. she had to die. Nope, she, she just had to die. For no reason to stop. We can't even justify that she actually died in the comics, which I highly doubt it. Because why would some continuity she dies, but even then, I don't think she was just killed off like that. The way that she was killed off and stuff, like yeah, she can't, she could probably die and stuff, but not like that. But it was a joke. But yeah, Daredevil board again, with, uh, which that sounds like a stupid ass name, too. I am not gonna lie. Like, what the fuck is, what the fuck is with these people coming up with these names? I, I don't know. But obviously Marvel is paying them big bucks, apparently. <laughs> Born again and stuff like like it, it, like what did he die and then come back? Which is one of the most anticipated up, uh, upcoming MCU series has once again been scrapped as Kevin Feige is unhappy with the show's quality. I wonder why. Maybe he was about to. I feel like they were about to sideline Daredevil too. Yep. Because anything that comes in the MCU nowadays is de uh, guaranteed to be dog shit. Indeed. Charlie Cox's journey as the daredevil, the devil of Hell's Kitchen, has been turbulent at best. While he took the ro on the role way back in 2015, Netflix's Daredevil was eventually canceled three years later after its third season. However, it also became the most critically acclaimed show from Marvel in the process. After his appearance in the Hulk attorney at law, <laughs> home, it seems Charlie Cox is once again feeling the back burner as the show goes through turbulence. Man, this man, this man has been feeling the back burner since 2022. Yeah, way back in July. What he had to do to walk a fucking shame in, fuck, in fucking She-Hulk. After clapping those big green cheeks, apparently. Oh my god, the walk of shame, bro. I cannot believe they did that to Charlie. <laughs> oh my god, bro. She-Hulk Attorney at Law is a terrible show, man. I don't understand how it's getting a second season. It is apparently to build up something that's supposed to be happening in MCU, if they even could get to that, get to that point. I don't think they will. They won't. They won't. And stuff. I think it was supposed to be a whole build up for World, World Hulk. Something something to do with the Hulk. And I think it's going to be evolving with uh, Thunderbolt Ross, Betty Ross, and all of them. And then Bruce Banner coming back, of course. Because you cannot have Hulk without Bruce Banner. He'll probably be fucking sidelines, but you cannot have him yeah. without, without it. It'll only show up for like five minutes, and that's to explain the the plot or whatever. That's why what's going to happen is that they do actually somehow come up with this and stuff that he's going to get fucking sidelined as well. Charlie Cox was okay. I don't need to read that. Daredevil born again to be born again. <laughs> As as uh, per reports uh, from the Hollywood Reporter, Daredevil Born Again has entered yet another delay, which is turning out to be a difficult uh, production, being announced all the way back in July 2022. Daredevil Born Again had a production pause in mid-June amid the writer's strike. Isn't that funny? And that, that, that is really funny stuff. They were already halfway finished, you I heard. Yep. 
And the writer said, nah, I don't want this. I want to get this out of here. I want to get out of this. No, they got fired, actually. The uh, writers that were in Daredevil, Born Again, got fired. Not surprising. They did, well, they're going to claim that is they got let go. They got, uh, they got, uh, let go. But you already know on all reality, it was fired. Let go is just a kind way of saying getting fired. Yeah, like get your ass off the Marvel Studios property. After 18 episodes shot for the project were reviewed by Kevin Feige and other Marvel executives, they came to the conclusion that the show was not good enough. Moreover, the show's head writer, Chris Ord and Matt Corman, were let go by Marvel Studios in September while the directors of the show were also released for, for creatively rebooting the show. Nah, <laughs> you see that? You see that? They were let go. Fired. And the directors were also... <laughs> they fired every damn body. Yeah, they said, y'all get out of here. Get out, get out of here, you boochers. Man, they pulled a Vince McMahon. Kevin Feige pulled a Vince McMahon. Yeah, pretty much. Get out! Get the hell out! For creatively rebooting the show. So what does that mean? Does that mean they were going to make it good? Yeah. We'll never it, know. Actually, I did not trust. They, they, they're going to have to show me that they can make this good. Because fucking... Fucking anything that Marvel shits out nowadays is guaranteed to be dog shit. Yep. They could reboot Jessica Jones and stuff and then somehow just fuck that up too. Yep, pretty much. Alright, shall we go on? Yep. Marvel Studios has been a, a downward trend of reception, positive reception as of late. It's been like that for quite some time, by the way. Yep. While the Starting Elizabeth with WandaVision. Yep. While the uh, Elizabeth, she they spelled her name wrong too. Yep. <laughs> Good job, Elizabeth Olsen. Star Star WandaVision. Which was the first Disney Plus MCU show became an Emmy winner. How did this show get an Emmy winner? I I don't know. It's baffling. I mean Elizabeth. O I mean no offense to Elizabeth Olsen stuff, but she should have got that in other movies that she did in the MCU. Mm -hmm. Enemy winner. Other Marvel shows such as Miss Marvel, She Hulk, Attorney at Law, and Secret Invasion have have all been panned by critics yeah, because they were all, were all ter terrible. Terrible. Every uh, every one that you just mentioned was all terrible. Because let me tell you why. Miss Marvel, nobody gives a shit about. She Hulk, Attorney at Law, a missed opportunity turned into a nightmare. Secret Invasion, do we even need to be further discussing that? Yes, our feelings on Secret Invasion are pretty much well clear at this point. Yes. Jesus Christ. Our part in response to this negative trend of reviews that ultimately narrowed down the lack of quality control during production. On the other hand... The Tom Hiddleston star Loki season two is currently re receiving positive reviews. Yeah, because Sylvie isn't in it. For the most part. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So far, Sylvie has not been in it, but season episode two was mid. So I'm pretty sure that, that this article is going to be changed from positive to negative reviews soon. Because if Sylvie, because I'm pretty sure Sylvie's going to come back. Yep, who knows? <clears throat> but all I need to know is if they want to hit from Loki and stuff, they're going to have to build up Kane. And so, because so far, nothing of convincing has been of Kane. Except for the first episode. Just nothing. No nothing. And if this show doesn't proceed. 
And I also, what I found out about Loki, and that's it. And what I found about Loki is that I, I think they're building this up for the Marvels. Most likely. They better not, and stuff, because that's going to be another dog shit in their hands. Yep. And speaking of the Marvels, which st- can't stay out of headlines also, there's a new cameo. Yep, we are expected to see an Asgardian, apparently. Yeah, is it somebody that we lo- uh, love? Is it the uh, Chris Hemsworth's uh, Chris Hemsworth's best character, Thor? Is it Mighty Jane or Mighty Thor? I mean, that 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 actually works as a hero name, Mighty Jane. Yeah, but I guarantee you, it's not gonna be Thor. It's gonna be Mighty Thor, and you know why. And actually, uh, actually, I don't even think it's Mighty Thor. She fucking died in the movie. Oh, that's right. She dies in Love and Blunder. Not that I know, because I don't want to see it. I actually had the pleasure of sawing it and stuff, and I almost wanted to, I almost wanted to fucking put a knife to my stomach and just fucking kill myself and stuff and, get, and hope to get sent to Valhalla. Because that's that's how bad it was. Mistreatment of both characters and stuff. I thought what this was going to be was just going to be Mighty Thor and Thor uh, duo. And stuff, it turned into another mess of itself with uh, killing killing off Thor's love interest. Because why have a man with a woman? What I've seen, basically hmm? another feminist group. <laughs> yeah. Basically what I've seen... It's just pure feminist bull. It was bullshit, man. And the fact is, my girlfriend, uh, I mean, my gr- uh, Brody loves the uh, Mighty Door and stuff. Uh, the latest trailer for Marvel Studio uh, Studios The Marvels uh, included a potential cameo for a character from the Door franchise. Door was last seen in MCU during the 2022's Door Love and Thunder, in which he went on a wild adventure across the universe with Bakri, Jane Foster, and Korg. Rumors pointed to Captain Marvel 2's including a Bakri camo- cameo. Of course, it's Valkyrie. Valkyrie yeah. Which be my second guess. Bro! <laughs> oh, shit. You think it was going to be Thor? You got Whoever in the, in the, pe- the people that watch these videos thought it was going to be Thor, you fucking, ro- you fucking must be out of your mind. What? You want something? And you expect us to give that to you? What is that? Our job to meet your expectations? You you want you want you, you wanted to see him, uh, the uh, the only man in the in the movies? Well, there is there is the prince and stuff because <laughs> yeah, Captain Marvel's becoming a princess and stuff. <laughs> That's why I said the Marvels got Disney fied, and not in the good way. Yeah. But yeah, it's Vakery going to be make a cameo. Oh boy, I can't wait to see that when I have to sit and watch through this shit shitload of fuck for one hundred one hour and forty five minutes. Yep. After I would t- much rather watch the line at Taco Bell, at Taco Bell's bathroom, than watch this movie. Holy shit, bro! It might even not even be a, a cameo of her. You might just show up and start helping them. I'm calling that right now. She shows up and helps them. When I'm looking at the pictures, that looks like just a ship. From Door to Dark World. They ripped it off they ripped it off from Door to Dark World. Bruh. Which is I believe was actually a good Thor movie. Yep. 
สมัยก่อนรู้สึก Of course, random phone numbers. Why was I not surprised? Because, because uh, I thought it was, I thought it was some uh, family member. Because I was gonna take take the call right quick and stuff, and let Les Daniels finish it. Um. Yeah, it's it. it, it uh, we already knew this. This was coming. Rumors pointed to Captain Marvel's two, including a Valkyrie camel, after Tessa Top Thompson's headshot was seen among other other pictures for the film's cast. Although nothing has been confirmed yet, it's probably going to happen and stuff. But we're probably not even going to see much of her. Either that, or she's going to probably do show up. Probably won't say a word. <laughs> Before stock footage. Yeah, it probably won't be. Like, it'll probably be like it'll just be like old footage of her or something. Marvel Studios' latest trailer for the Marvels included a potential cameo by Bakri, who's known for her best role in the last two movies from the Thor uh, college, uh, college. Really now? Quadrilogy. Really? really? Third Love and Daughter was her, uh, was be was best known. You should be talking about the first three movies. Well, I don't even know. I think uh, Ragnarok was I next. I, yeah, it was more hit or miss with Ragnarok. The end of the trailer included what appears to be a shot of the bit the the Bifrost. Forming in the sky, the dimensional energy that many Asgardians use to travel across across the Marvel Cinematic Universe versus Nine Realms. This likely means that either Thor, Va Valkyrie, or another Asgardian could be a part of Captain Marvel 2 using the Bifrost to visit uh, Carol Danvers. Hoop Hoopty ship. What the hell is his name? Hoopity ship. What a fucking name that she had named her ship. <laughs> this is the SS Hoopity. Oh. Hoop yeah. Oh, no. What? Oh, the next slide. Listen to this. This comes amidst rumors that Valkyrie will actually be involved romantically with Brie Larson's Carol Davers in, the move, in this movie. No. You already have it set up for her to be... What, 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 I thought you were becoming a princess. What is this? Don't tell me this is gonna be like a kind of thing where it's like she falls in love with the dashing rogue or whatever, and then skips out on the prince last minute, like Derry the wedding or some bull. Oh, oh my, my god. god, bro! Proper. If that happens, just do not be surprised if you just start seeing me chugging. <laughs> Now, whether that's going to be copious amounts of alcohol or cyanide, I have yet to decide. <laughs> I'm going to be definitely ch ch Oh, my God, bro. I really should consider sneaking in a beer and stuff for this movie. It's going to take a lot for us to get through this movie. It's going to probably take more than one hour and 45 minutes. So we're going to probably have to take breaks because of this shit. Probably. The, the way that th this shit sounds like it's not, it sounds like this could be a okay. It is, so... going, to be, <laughs> it is going to be a mess. A highway to hell, bro. <laughs> oh my god, AC dude. Song, you know, something that's actually good. No, this is actually going down all through Dante's Inferno. Literally all circles of hell. Bro, we hit the bottom of the core at this point and start Steve, uh, Tony Stark and Black Widows rolling their graves right now. Tony Stark probably looking down, going like, I didn't sacrifice myself for this bullshit. Wow, okay, so, yeah, 
that once again, this is possibly Marvel's carrying catering to these to the one percent fans. Like God, I swear to God, if I see this shit, see the see that that recent came in to claim Carol Devers as the new queen, it is over for this movie. This movie it has never been more over for this movie. This movie is looking at a complete and total disaster. The new uh, promotional trailer for the Marvels can be watched below. And I'm not watching through that trailer because we already watched through that trailer. Wait, did we? Let me see. We can't do this. They got another trailer? How many fucking trailers are they going to put out for this? Is Carbine done with this shit yet? I I don't know. Another fucking trailer for this this garbage man. And, and I'm I pretty sure it, I know it ain't worth it ain't worth do not watch. It's pretty much the same crap we've been seeing, essentially. How many trailers are they gonna fucking put out, bro? I guess as many as it takes to get the asses in the seats. But it ain't gonna be. Um, let me tell you something. My ass ain't gonna be in that movie. In that movie theater. This is sad. Oh, well, the fact is, I think I know why they're doing it. It's because they don't have their actors. Exactly. They can't promote it. They're. Oh, looks so hard. This is a nightmare, bro. This is a nightmare. At this point, there is no way to leave a potential Valkyrie camel off the table for the Marvels. Especially after the movie's promotional tour utilized Thor from in Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Yeah. You have, to, you, have to, you have to use a fucking good character to promote your shitty character. Use his fame to promote prom uh, promote for Carol's fame. That's just a tipty fate right there. From uh, Avengers Endgame in a uh, recent preview, but uh, but with plenty of other characters to catch up with from this cast, which nobody gives a shit about, mostly probably Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan. Two characters that nobody definitely cares about and rather wreck their asses with 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 that with their uh with their content. It would seem that Valkyrie wouldn't be uh set for a major ro role in this se sequel. How is she gonna be a major role and stuff if she's a Thor character? Mm. This is the agony. I don't get it. So let me see this ca casting. Should we? I want to look at this casting though. For this damn movie, bro. I swear to God, Tessa Thompson got casted for this little day. Yeah, it, 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 it's gone. Oh, look at the popularity. Ouch. <laughs> and there's your cat. There's your full cat. <laughs> Pink lady. <laughs> Oh shit. It's not even saying that she's showing up. So what the fuck are they talking about? This is part of somebody's fantasy right here. 
honestly. Yeah, probably. I, I knew I, I knew that it wasn't going to probably happen. It would be seen that Valkyrie would be set for uh would be set for a major role in the sequel. Currently, reports indicate that the Marvels will be the short shortest film in the MCU at only well five minutes long, meaning that the plot will be fairly condensed around the fi- films uh films three leading heroes and around us to not have to suffer as long. But it's still going to be assifying bad. That one hour and 45 minutes and stuff, I'm going to want back. But with other rumors indicating that the sequel will actually tie in heavily with the grand scheme of the multiverse saga, which it won't. Only time will tell how much action and drama will be uh, jam-packed into that running time. <laughs> it's gonna be a fucking mess, bro. <laughs> ah, shit! This is shit! <laughs> more articles we read about this, the more of a mess we believe this is gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, and this could be the biggest mess that the MCU has ever, ever had to deal with. I'm, I'm, and I cannot wait to their excuses that they try to make for this shit. They're going to probably use that the actor strike was a thing. Yep. That's what they're going to probably use stuff. Which they probably can get away with it. They can get away with it because it's actually still happening and stuff. But how are you going to excuse the dog shit that you made? You made that before the, uh, the writers and actor strike. So, how are you going to explain why it was such dog shit? They won't be able to. But if you think that's bad and stuff, now we get to Loki Season 2, which on uh, October 19th will be a new episode. And probably be even worse than the second episode. But apparently, Sylvie, Sylvie and Loki had a romance. I, I never saw that. Yeah, I never saw that. So I just saw pure hatred from Sylvie. Because she fails to take responsibility. For yeah, her. I, I stabbed Kang, but you know what? I'm the victim here. Pretty much what Sylvie's doing. The hell is this? Okay. They actually kiss. That kiss looks like they, it looks not good either. Look. Look at the way they kiss. Oh, dear God. <laughs> That's some terrible kissing, man. Yeah, Tom Hiddleston looks so uncomfortable doing this. I would be too if I had to kiss some something like this in, in a Marvel movie. Yeah, I've been like, oh lord, I gotta kiss, I gotta kiss, I gotta kiss this, I gotta kiss the female power, don't I? But after after I was done filming, I said I would have went to the bathroom, and made myself vomit. I am not gonna lie, I would have too. Just to know that I would never touch a little lip like that again. Well, I'm probably gonna do more of it. Good lord. The latest episode of Loki Season 2 drew uh, attention to its weird romance. I didn't even see no fucking romance. I don't know what this person is talking about. While Loki Season 1 was regarded as one of NCU's best series, the show stuck up some controversy its romance between Loki and his, and the female variant. A female variant. I thought, I thought, it was, I thought she was always a love interest. Of Loki's and stuff. Where where does female variant come in to play? Some came to dub the romance as self crest. So Loki loves <laughs> self crest. 
Oh my god! Oh no, no. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh dear god. If if this is a female Loki and stuff, that means oh my god, bro. So he's basically wanting to fuck himself. No. Oh god. He's imagining himself as a female and stuff and is kissing himself basically. That's why I said Sylvie should have been a love interest. Should have been her own thing and stuff. This didn't need to be coming off of Loki and stuff. Loki should have been his own thing. Sylvie should have been his own thing and stuff. They could carry the same power. I don't. I can see that working. Look at Mighty Thor, Thor and and, and Thor. Exactly. And if they really needed Loki to have a love interest, why don't you choose that? Cat Dennings character. Oh wait, she's already busy with uh with WandaVision apparently. Yep. You know. Here's a, the 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 love interest that and as ma- Guardian, you know. This is sad, bro. You know, in the Marvel Universe stuff, uh, what's some of your best love love interest characters you love to see? Spider uh Peter Parker and uh MJ? Peter Parker, MJ, uh, Black Widow going around fucking half of the Avengers. Maybe the ones that truly worked was probably Captain America and her, and, or uh, her and Bruce Banner. Yeah, or her and Bruce Banner. I think the best one was Bruce. Yeah. And so honestly, I, I, I should just say Tony that Stark they, and Pepper Potts. Yeah, Tony Stark, Pepper Potts, uh, Hope, Hope, and uh, Scott Lang. Then Loki and Silly? Like, what the hell is this? This is agony. I thought it was a weird romance for uh, Black Widow to be going around and stuff, but I at least can understand where she's coming from and stuff. She's a fucking spy. Sometimes female spies have to go around doing shit like that. But this here is just, this is something, man. Self crest. <laughs> so we're just going to make Loki just be cr- incredibly insane at this point. Yeah, what even is that? As as Re- uh, Raphael's uh, Cassell's Brad, aka Hunter X Five, watched Loki and Sylvie reunite from a McDonald's table where he sit with Mobius. The rogue TV TVA agent pointed out the absurdity of their real romance. Okay, that part I noticed. Yep. And stuff, and I would not blame this guy for looking in such horror. Look at that face. You can't tell me that's a face of pure disgust. Like, that is a face of disgust if I've ever seen it. Loki is making love of himself, basically. Thinks that he's a female. What the fuck? Brad stated that their interaction was confusion with confusion and disgust as he questioned what is happening right now. Uh, yep. Happened. <sighs> and and there and there's a uh, scene that they repeated. Mobius called their relationship complicated and noted how they're both basically in a relationship with themselves. <laughs> they admitted it on the TV show. Oh my god! Complicated relationship. There's a lot to unpack when you're basically in a relationship with yourself. They say opposites attract. No. But why? Wow, I guess I never thought about that by myself and stuff. I guess I should imagine myself as a female and stuff, which I don't want to. That would be basically my mother then, because that's just, that's who I looked like. God damn it, Marvel. Why would you make me think of that? 
I guess Marvel wants you to be disgusted with things that you never would dare think about. Oh my lord, bro. You fucking piece of shit, Marvel, bro. Don't ever do that. It's ran by a bunch of freaks, man. Wait, are you surprised? No. Writers barely disguised fetish. That's yeah. all this is. Like, the, basically, it, it, we can now confirm that in episode two, the writer was thinking about himself, was all in his dreams and stuff, probably beating his meat. Well, I don't even know who the writer, writer is. Let me look up this writer right quick. I'm not sure I want to know, to be honest. I don't even want to know either stuff, but... <laughs> to just do shit like this and stuff, it's just ridiculous. Let's see, who's the right Loki writer? Yeah, I found a name for... I, I think I found a name for the writer. Her name is Sophia DiMartino. Wait, the one that did Loki wrote this? The one, not, no, okay, uh. Um, isn't that Sylvie's character? Like, Sylvie's yeah, that's actor? Sylvie's character. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Unless he had his name hidden because he knew that it was such an embarrassment. Let's see, she said that it was. Oh, it's created by Michael <laughs> Waldron. Okay, so that's his barely disguised finish then. That's the so creator. To be pretty split. Let's see what Mike. Uh, let's see what this this man has made. Oh, he's made some Marvel films and stuff. And he's making the future ones too. Oh, Avengers. God. Oh God. Oh Lord! Avengers: Secret Wars. So what I'm witnessing here? No, I, I I don't want it. No, get get it away from me. I I want this thing to be as far away from me as possible. Doctor Strange, multi he made multiverse of madness. Oh no! Oh God! Well, thank you, Mark Waldron, for ruining ruining my um, ruining Peggy ruining Carter. One of my favorite Mar hmm? And thank you for ruining one of my favorite characters, by the way. Yeah. You ruined Doctor Strange like that. You ruined Doctor Strange. You ruined Peggy Carter. You ruined Reed Richards. You even ruined Professor X. Good <laughs> work. You ruined him. You took it. And you ruined him. Thanks for ruining one of my favorite, my favorite uh, love interest of Steve Rogers, man. Oh my God, bro! Now we know who destroyed uh, destroyed Peggy Carter. Oh my God, man! Christ on a bike, and he's getting war work apparently by working for Avengers: Secret Wars. God. I sure hope he gets no. fired too. Uh, I. D if anyone needs to be fired, it's that motherfucker. I swear. <laughs> if this show ain't no success and stuff, they better hope it's a success. I think Marvel's banking a lot on this show succeeding stuff, and I highly doubt it's stuff. It. Not if you don't build up Kane. Yeah. Kang don't get the proper build-up he needs. How am I supposed to enjoy the movie? Enjoy it. That's what I'm saying. At this point in time, Marvel has done nothing with this character stuff. How am I supposed to be convinced that he's some type of big and bad and stuff? You you would have been better off putting in Doctor Doom or Galactius. Exactly. Why then not build Doctor Doom or Galactus? And also what I found out about Kang and stuff, he was actually a Nutterfell fell project that Marvel has been doing behind the scenes and stuff and got rebooted multiple times. So why even bother with it? Why even bother building this character up if you failed with him in the comics? You could have put Magneto's 
Doctor Doom or Galactus uh, be the big and baddie? Hey, what about that battle world that Doctor Doom owns and stuff? Just imagine the Avengers and everybody had to go fight in that just to get out of there. After a season full of thir uh, Freddy and uh, uh, obvious romantic tensions, the relationship between Loki and Sylvie reached a climax with the season one from now as the pair shared a passionate kiss at the end of the end of time before the death of he hero who remained. You mean Kang? Yeah, exactly. Loki basically kissing himself. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Man, people be on some weird shit and stuff. You have to write yourself in, uh, if you have to write yourself to just feel like something and stuff. That's like if I made a character. That's like if I ha had the rights to Ace Combat and stuff, and I made Chopper I made Chopper kiss his mother and stuff. Wouldn't that be fucking weird? Or if you made him fuck his grandmother? It's like, yeah, that, that would be sh so fucking disgusting. No yeah. one wants that. Yeah. Now, their reunion at the 80s McDonald's marks their first interaction between Loki since their kiss, although some time has passed for both. Where Loki and Sylvie's MC romance is going? Nowhere. Besides people looking at the director, like, uh, the writer, like he's a weirdo. Sophie D. Montana was clear of the backlash to her, her and um, to her, uh, her Loki romance was expected to be pretty split. N and now, with Brad's self around his comments, it appears it may must be intentional in adding that the gods got a mischievous, wacky nature. That is weird and stuff. Why would you? I don't understand. Why would this be even a thing and stuff? Why would you want to make love to yourself and want to put that out there? I don't know. It is disgusting. <laughs> Some days I wish I was just a creature living in the forest to where I wouldn't know that things like this exist. Yep. Jesus Christ. Exactly how the relationship will develop across season two in the future of the MCU is unclear. Following their reunion, ep we only got, and, and here's the thing. I had the episodes up. I had the episodes up to see how many we got left. Because this, yeah, I think we got four more episodes of stuff. So if you think, so you thinking that this is going to be built up right here, you're dead wrong. They don't need to be focusing on this either, and so they need to just get get to Kane. Where's Kane? Yeah. You know, your supposed big bad baddie for this. Who fell multiple times? I'm sorry for Jonathan Majors and stuff, because I like him and I like him and stuff. Like I said, I heard that he was a very good villain for Creed 3. And stuff, and I would, and I still want to see that movie and stuff because I'm like, I'm like, wow, they actually did the rock, uh, the Rocky spinoff justice without Rocky. Exactly how the uh, okay, Loki and Sylvie will undoubtedly grow closer over the coming episodes and stuff, which I can't, I don't want to see. Good lord. That means it's it's confirmed now that look that Sylvie's coming back. One has to wonder whether Loki will be able to change the minds of those who consider the valiant relationship to be strange, including Brett. Not only not only those in the show and stuff, but though but the audience that are watching it. That is weird. Like that is freaking weird and stuff. That's like that's like the all the examples I made and stuff. Like that's basically like me, me kissing a very uh, variant of 
would look like would look like to be my mother and stuff, or Chopper and the grandmother thing. It it'd be weird. Those ship uh, shipping sil uh, what the what is this? <laughs> Oh, How's this even a ship? I I really don't know. It is just so bad. Sid winking. What? What's poppin'? Hey, my base was up. <laughs> Not much. Well, that was a colossal failure. Um. Well, to start, I guess. Yeah. All right, I, you I get the so. pictures though. Uh, I'm, uh, let me uh, let me hurry up and end this. Sorry, movies. Well, you get the picture stuff. That's enough. I don't think we need to go further much in this weird romance. Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting more mostly and more because, creeped out. Yeah, mostly because I don't want to, and I'm just creeped out by this whole thing. That's all I got to say. No, well, you're not the only one. Hey, anyways, I think it's, that's enough. Uh, I guess we get sign out for now. Yeah, let's sign out for now. We All have right. more Thunder Monday to do. Yeah, see ya.